Hello and welcome to GoGeeko.com. In this video, you will learn how easy it is to create Informatica IDQ Labeler and Standardizer Transformation. Labeler Transformation simply labels different incoming values to something. For example, you can label anything which is a symbol to come out as s or symbol or whatever you want similarly 17242 values like this you can put whatever name you want but by default labeler will give 99999 and standardizer transformation simply standardizes your incoming values for example avenue dot or avenue or avnue all these different combinations can be standardized to the word avenue so let's see labeler and standardizer in action so I have opened a mapping this is the previous mapping which I used for the key gen transformation and let's copy that mapping so let me show you how to create a copy of a mapping in case you want something to be almost same as the original mapping so simply copy and paste and you can reuse the dependencies and the dependencies Tendencies means all these different physical data objects like source and targets so here is a copy and let me rename that to labeler and standardization functionality so let's say lab for labeler and s standardizer so let's cancel that and open this mapping so let's first check our data so this mapping reads the data from a file this is the same file which I have used in the keygen functionality. You can check my previous video in case you haven't seen that video. In that video, I have used the same file. I have actually changed the data a little bit in this file so that I can show the labeler and standardizer functionality. So if you look at this data, the last name has some kind of a symbol. So if the last name has some kind of a symbol, then what I will do is I want to not load that particular row so I will reject that row so let's see how we can achieve that using a labeler transformation so add transformation labeler put the last name inside this so once you created your labeler and put in your last name or any column in the input then highlight the transformation go to properties this is very standard for any IDQ transformation that you highlight it go to properties and then go to strategies to figure out what you want to do with that transformation in this case my input is last name I can have more columns in here but just to showcase this functionality I'm using only uh, one column here so hit next in this case I'm gonna label using the character sets I can even use a reference table for that I need to have my own reference table and reference table is nothing which tells if it is this particular combination or if it is something in column A then give me column B so let's use labeler characters using character sets in this case it's going to be symbols so what this will do is if it will find any of these symbols which is like almost all the symbols it will replace all that with S and that will make any developer's life easy because now in your mapping you don't have to write the code to check each and every symbol you just need to check whether there is any s here so let's see how that can be helpful finish now here is the labeled output now let's add an expression transformation and let's get in the original last name and also the labeled output just to showcase what is the difference so right click and let let's run the data viewer and now if you look at that this has replaced percentage with s add the rate with s the rest of the things are same now let's add another port here let's add an output port here so what i will do in my output port is valid or invalid here i will decide whether my last name is valid or not 
so i can simply use if last name is not equal to labeled output then it's an invalid last name else it's a valid last name all right so it's valid okay i will increase that to maybe 100 so that it can cover all that length so save now let's run this so if you look at that it will give me invalid last name for these two because they don't match and now i can use a filter or a router transformation based on my needs to filter out that data where output this column is equal to invalid last name so i'm not gonna show that because by now you already know how filter and router works so this is about the labeler now let's quickly also check the standardizer transformation so let's add the transformation as standardizer in this case i have a column named as address so let's put in that in again the same path go to properties strategies and in this case my input is address next one thing I want to show you all is you can always check these. Now, you might have seen with Power Center that sometimes for cleaning or for staging, we L trim, R trim, and maybe uppercase some of the columns. So, this standardizer can actually do it right here, plus, it can do more. So, let's see what else it can do. So next, again, it has like a lot of reference table related stuff. In this case, what we are doing is replace the custom strings. So next, so my values which I'm going to replace are rd dot, which means if it's rd dot, then replace that to road. And my input values have these unstandardized data. So I can give all my different combinations. Like if you find this or that or that, like you can add as many values as you want and it will replace them to road and let's hit next because i also want to change suite so if it's ste dot then you change it to suite or if it is ste hash or maybe ste then you change all of them to suite so let's finish that again add an expression transformation to see our output and we can match what we sent in and what we are getting out so just to differentiate maybe i will say in here which is input and let's run the data viewer so if you look at that it does road to road actually in this case there's a dollar symbol and you can simply replace any symbol like dollars or maybe at the rate which are not expected in the address to nothing so we can also standardize that but if you look at that it has standardizes road to road and also suite to suite so this is why we use the standardizer transformation standardizer in particular and also labeler are very useful to do the data cleansing or data standardizations for addresses for company names like ltd for limited and like there are many more combinations like that so this completes this particular video of standardizer and the labeler transformation and in our next tutorial we would be covering more idq transformation thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos. Bye now.